So we've got a particle moving along in a straight line, and this describes its motion, its distance from the observer. And we want to know what the acceler uh, find the value of t. At what time is the acceleration zero? All right. So reminder about that. So this position is that equation right there. Position equals t to the fifth minus one t to the fourth. I'm just going to write this t to the fourth. To get to acceleration, I need velocity next. So velocity, velocity is the derivative of position. So if I take the derivative of my position, that gives me velocity. And acceleration is the derivative with respect to time of velocity. So to do this problem, I have to first get the derivative of my original function, then take its derivative to get acceleration. So derivative of t to the fifth is 5t to the fourth minus derivative of t to the fourth is 4t to the third. So now I have velocity, and then I can use that to get acceleration by taking its derivative. So t to the fourth, that derivative is 4t cubed times 5. 4 times 5 is 20t cubed minus derivative of t cubed is 3t squared <coughs> times 4 is going to give me 3 times 4 or 12t squared. OK, so I now have acceleration. And we want to know when is acceleration equal to 0? All right, so we just set that sucker equal to zero. And we should be able to factor this. Let's see. I can pull out a t squared and a four. So I'm going to factor out four t squared. Four goes into 25 times. t squared goes into t cubed t times. Minus four goes into 12 three times. t squared goes into t squared one time. One times three is three. All right, once it's factored, I can separate it. So either 4t squared equals 0 or 5t minus 3 equals 0. If 4t squared equals 0, divide by 4. Well, 0 divided by 4 is still 0. And the square root of 0, so t equals, take the square root of both sides. You get plus or minus the square root of zero, which is just zero. On the other side, we add three and then divide by five. So t is three fifths. So I get two times for which uh, the acceleration of the thing moving in that pattern is zero. So it's acceleration. It's not accelerating at the beginning. And it's not accelerating three fifths of a, I don't know, second later. And if I double check the homework, it should prompt me for more than one answer. So let's see if I click here, it says, oh, enter a mathematical expression. Oh, other than zero. Ah, I hope that I read the directions. Cool. So mine would just be three fifths. Sweet.